or a gardener or a professional lawn care specialist. Everyone struggles with them every year. Weeds. Here's some tips in this week's Plant Talk. When it comes to weed control in our yard, there's a lot of different chemical options, but it can be overwhelming. Today we're going to take a look at how we can solve those problems. All right, let's go conquer some weeds. So the two main concepts to understand when controlling weeds chemically is whether or not you've got a broadleaf weed or a grassy weed. After that, you can choose your chemical to selectively control it out of your problem area. So most of us understand that we can spray our broadleaf weeds and selectively take them out of the grass, but we're gonna take a look at an example where you can also take the grassy weed out of a broadleaf area. Okay, so now we've got the opposite example. We've got a sedum ground cover that we wanna save. So we wanna take the grassy weed out of the broadleaf. Now it is important that the grass be about only four, maybe no more than eight inches tall for this to be effective. So best to catch it when it's young. Now if your grass has progressed beyond that four to six inch stage, your other option is to use the wick method to kill it. We're gonna put a rubber glove on to protect our hand and then a cloth glove to absorb the chemical. And I'm gonna use Roundup. You just get a little chemical on the tips of your glove and that's the wick method. Thanks for watching Plant Talk. We'll see you again next time. Now I know. <laughs> you can catch Plant Talk every Monday right here on KX News at six. Now here's the last look at your forecast.